Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back to work on my design team project for Shabby Art Boutique. This is for the Handmade Club. She has um, a digital club that she creates something new every month. And this month happens to be called The Cottage Life. And I am creating a project with her digital papers. And if you haven't seen, I had I showed on the last video where I was making these little pocket foldouts and I showed you some of the die cuts and stuff from the collection. It is so gorgeous. If you haven't seen this month's kit, you can check it out. I'll leave the link below if you want to join. It is a really awesome thing to be part of because every month you get a surprise in your inbox with this beautiful digitals that she comes out with every month and each month it is a different theme I cut these out with my Cricut and they really really does a nice job so I am making a envelope stack altered file folder so it's a stack of envelopes and it sits on this file folder and I'm decorating it with some of the background pages. And then I'm going to decorate this. So this is going to store my grandmother's beautiful poems that she's written throughout her life. And I wanted a beautiful place to store it. So. I put together the envelopes here. In the previous video, I show you how I did it. So if you wanna see that, I'll leave the link to that as well. And joining the Handmade Club is super easy. It's just a two month commitment. And I will leave that link as well in the description box. All right, let's get started. So my idea for this is um, I really liked this little die cut and I think that I die, I think I cut out the larger size, but if I didn't, I'm gonna go back and do that because I want it to fill up the circle. Needless to say, that's gonna be done later. <laughs> so what I did is I kind of went through and I decided what papers, I don't sew any or glue anything down until I finish because I, I wanna make sure that I like it. I guess this one, did I glue this down? I might have glued that one down because I was pretty sure about that. <laughs> so those are the only, I think those are the only two. No, I glued that one too. And what I did was I opened the top of this. I think had I thought that through, I would have opened it on the side. But that's okay. I'm going to put it there and that'll be fine. On this one, I think I am going to open the top because I want it. Or I could do it from the side as well. This one, definitely from the top. Okay, let's just see what papers I have. I, I need to print out some more. I didn't print all of them out. And this was one of the ones I wanted to use. It's so pretty. This one, the pink wood. I have some of this peel paint one. Yeah, see, I did, but I think that one's still too big. Isn't that pretty though? Look at those florals. So in the Cricut Design Space, I can put in, you know, whichever size I want. So if you haven't seen how I print then cut, I'll leave that video below as well because I did that one for the last month's kit. I think a lot of people found it helpful. If there's anything else that you would like to learn or you need help with, just let me know. I can always make a second video with more detail if you want, or if there's a specific image that you're struggling with, just let me know. If you haven't checked out my giveaway challenge, please check that out as well. It's for a friend of mine who um, dealt with a tragedy and I, I'd explain it in the video and I'll leave that information as well. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna cover Let's see how I'm going to see that. A little bit up there. Okay. Let's do that. 
So this one, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this real quick. Okay, so that opens that up. And I just use washi tape here to enforce the edge. And I kind of like how it peeks out a little bit and you can see, see that on the side. So I'm just going to cut this down and then I'm going to sew the edge around the edge and then I'm going to be right back. Okay, I got my paper cut and sewn and then I'm just going to glue that on here. Now you can collage this if you prefer. I just, um, I was going to collage some, I, I might still do that for the back envelope. But I really loved seeing the layers of the papers. So like when I have all the papers on here, I can see them like peeking everywhere. So it just looks so fun, right? You get the floral on the back, the yellow gingham, the doily, the pink checkered. Well, the, this actually went. <laughs> um, so I guess I don't see the pink doily, but I get to see the pink floral, the green floral, you know what I'm saying. And then whatever I have on the, on the last one will peek out on the side. So that'll be fun. And then just seeing them all together. I don't know. Just, I love to see the papers. They're really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. So there we go. I have the little, um, a little bit of the, a little bit of the washi tape peeking it over there on the edge. There we go. Gorgeous. Love that paper. And then I'm gonna do the same over here. Let's do this one here. I was debating where I wanted this. I think I want it to open from the top. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that. Just a sliver. Okay, Okay. so that'll be the pocket up there, and then I will go ahead and cut this paper down. I think I need to cut off about that much. I'm going to sew this. And be right back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. I love this bone folder. If you've never used um, 
a Teflon bone folder. It is a game changer. I'll tell you what. I was like, oh my gosh, what is the big deal until I got it. <laughs> I just love it. Love it so much. I'll leave a link to this down below. I got it off of Amazon. Okay. So this one is going to open up here and I'll be able to put in one of these cute little um, embroidery hoops. That'll be so cute. The bigger one though. Okay. So that's basically all I do for covering the envelopes. Again, if you prefer, you can always collage it. So I just need to do, I need to find a paper for there, 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 and then collage this probably. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Hey guys, here is my finished file folder, envelope stack file folder. I went ahead and just decorated it because I had a lot of things going on in my family um, and dealing with a lot lately. So I just wasn't up to the detailed steps of this I hope it's okay but anyway this is the final file folder and where we left off was me actually covering everything I went back and I did all of the I used all the die cuts and everything to to decorate it and so I think it turned out really pretty on the top here I used her alphabet this was the alphabet that she had in this month's kit and it matches so pretty with the papers. And so because it's holding my grandmother's poems, I decided to put poetry at the top there. And it's just held on by these two clips. So I can take those off easily. And it's just a very simple little banner there. I just thought the words were so cute and I just had to add that at the top, so. This is what it looks like without that, and the letter stack is here. And I took all of the florals, and I fussy cut this one because this was in the PDF and not the elements. And these were in the elements, so my Cricut cut that one, and it just added another layer of dimension to the project. So I made sure that it was where I wanted it, and then I glued them down. I added some lace here at the bottom, this lace I got from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. The little pom-pom in this one. And then I had this pink one in my stash. And this little pretty bead dangle here was in one of um, Doreen's kits. A lot of the trims and stuff are from her store. So anyway, um, I just have this tied with some seam binding super simple I just attached it around the back before I attached it and I used a mixture of uh, Fabri-Tac and score tape so here is the first envelope I know it's a little glary because of the light but I had to put that little piggy in there isn't that so cute this is a CD envelope and I just used um, a die to cut the circle out after I measured and then um, I used her little die cuts. Aren't these little ducks so sweet? The little flowers there. But this little guy, I had to showcase him because he was just too sweet. And then in the background, I also have the, um, which was I was originally going to go with this. So I just will leave that in there because that's still cute too. But. He just made me smile so I had to add him there <laughs> and then I have just a little bit of lace here right there on the corner and you open that and I have this envelope this one was I think a five and a half by five and a half yeah something like that so this one is five by five this one's five and a half and I used her little pockets she has these pockets in there and then these little cut-aparts. 
And then right here, I use some of her die cut florals. Little watering can. And in this envelope, I have these two. I'll be storing her beautiful poems in here. I wasn't ready to share them, so I didn't put them in here. Um, there's some, you know, some of them are personal. And uh, so anyway, this was so cute, her little buttons. I just used that at the top with some twine. Family is everything. And I used one of the flowers to make a little tuck spot. You can see all the pretty background papers. And then if you open this out, on the back of this, I created a cute little combination here of the honey and the frame, the butterfly. And then in that frame, I just left open the top and I just glued right around the edge so I could tuck one of these sweet little um, tags in there. And then over here, I have the, one of these little embroidery hoops, and I just did a little bit of lace collage here and added one of the florals, made it a little tuck spot. There's our little piggy again. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And in here, I have this open at the top. I put one of the holdover things that I created in the I have the video for that if you want to see how I put those together. I'll leave that below. And then over here, I have one of the hearts and florals right here. It's a little tuck spot. Super cute. And then I made this little fence, little, I don't know, collage or whatever. I used one of her floral elements in the kit and this one as well, two separate ones. And then this sweet little duck is so cute. And that's just, you know, a, a visual thing. It's, it's not going to hold anything. And in this one, I put all of these cards in here because I figured I could either attach the poem to the back or I can paper clip it and then write something about it. So all different ideas for that. And then I opened it on the edge. I ended up opening it on the edge here. There we go. And then this loops down here and it's just a little tuck spot with one of the frames and the butterflies and then here's one of the large tags and I made this like a little booklet type thing super fun and then up here, I made another little framed collage with the little piggy. <laughs> He's in the corner. Isn't that cute? So I figured I could either put a picture there or something else. And then I used the ducks. I just love the ducks. They're so sweet. And in here, I have a bunch of these. Love you to the barn and back. <laughs> so cute. So depending on what I want to put in here, you know, I just wanted to showcase all of these goodies that were in the kit because there's so much. And then here, I use another one of the pockets. And I put it on the side. And then I just added these two die cuts here, the pig in the can, and then the florals. Added these two little journaling cards. And then, yeah, I showed you that. And then this is open. I just collage with the different papers 
and the florals and the ducks and then this opens and I can slide you know maybe showcase one of her really awesome poems that I love the most or something got lots of glue pieces over here okay and so that goes down like that this was a lot of fun so colorful and I just it just made me happy I love it so this is going to house all of the poems that I have that my grandmother wrote. And then in here, I didn't do a whole lot because I wanted to leave room for whatever I needed. I just added a couple of goodies in here. So in here, I have a small little journey, journal just like a TN size. And I put a doily here, one of the frames, and then the little duckies over here. And I just tied it with some seam binding so it's not permanent. And then I, I used um, one of the collage pages and the pink one on the inside. And I just added some coffee dyed and avocado dyed papers nothing major just a blank journal and I can put pictures in here or whatever I want to and then I altered this little bag this was a uh, little bag from Panera and I used some of the papers to collage in the background I added a little lace bow and some of the die cuts the little honey again and then the little is that a geese goose so cute and then I added the other two little flip outs that I created in the bag so that is my project you guys I hope you enjoyed the flip through and um, if you're interested in anything check out the description box below and thanks so much for stopping by my channel and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.